This is the unboxing for the Skywing Laser 260 74 inch yellow scheme. Starting with the fuselage, which I've started to assemble already. Uh, fuselage is very nicely made. It has uh, an interesting catch system for the canopy. This is magnetic pull-out pins, one on each side, and then the cap. The canopy goes back a bit and then up and off. Okay. Here we have the inside of the canopy and features here are carbon laminations, the um, automatic plug ins when the wings go on, uh, the double locks for the wings those come up to lock this one comes up to lock same on both sides um, there's the logo sky wing yeah they've already provided servo wires down to the back yeah, the uh, stabilizer is held on here by a joiner tube, a locator, and a locking location there. And this magnetic pin pops out, it's magnetic. Right. And when that's out, you can shift the lock up to lock the wing in place. That shows it locking in place here in the top hole there. It's locking onto the locking screw. And that unlocks it. And in whatever position you're in, you can put in the you can put in the pin. And that goes in magnetically. Just to keep it all in place. Now at the rudder, we have this pin that goes right up the hinges right to the top at the bottom here it curls under the center of the fuselage and is locked in place by the fitting of the um, tailwheel which is already in place there we have ventilation holes Mounts for the undercarriage, ventilation, yeah, very nicely made, very beautiful. This is going to be electric powered, so I'll have a standoff on here for the, for the electric motor. The uh, bolts for the cowl are two are hidden, and there's one on the bottom here. And this hook is to make sure the bottom of the cow stays up against this former. Very nice. Any problem with these is you can lose them. Next, the cowl. Cowl is a very nice fiberglass cowl with a cowl ring. Here are the two hidden bolts holding the cowl on. And here's the bottom one. It has these interesting ribs on the top which make it very stiff. So that uh, it's not going to woof or buckle inwards or anything. They're already airflow guides in here to pull air onto the motor see them from there 
another breathe hole in the bottom. They're beautifully finished and painted. Right. A little baggy for the, the stabilizer and elevators. to be ironed down. Right, the left side stabilizer and elevator and all pre-hinged and sealed with film in there and on the underside, yeah, I've already started work on this. I've put the horns in there so it's all double horns, very nice double horns and here's your locating pin and the joiner tube going onto the tail of the fuselage and a locking screw there. The other one's the same. Isn't that amazing? Main join the tube for the fuselage. Bang. Right, left side wing. Same again with the hinges, pre hinged, pre sealed. Uh, these are the bolts for the SFGs. The film was all very nice and tight straight out of the box. Uh, and your single servo for this size. And again, I've started putting on the uh, the horns. These are all epoxied in place already. Not out of the box, I've, I've done some work on this already. Here's your proprietary joiner onto the fuselage. And your locating pins and your locking screws which uh, keep the wing in place don't let it slide off right, right wing same already done the horns for this and yeah Exactly the same as the one we've just been through, of course. And the wing bag, which takes the whole lot. SFGs to go on the wings if you want to use them. Here's the motor box for electric, the fuel tank, which I won't be using. I always have fuel tanks left over. Yeah. Wheel spats, which seem quite large. Yeah, nice, very nicely made wheel spats. Don't know if it's going to suit our field, which is a grass field. And there we have the fairings and the fairing, fairing ceiling rubber. Wheels and stub axles. The wheels feel quite nice, actually. Soft foam. 
and undercarriage your standard uh, carbon undercarriage interestingly the holes for mounting are offset so that you can't get it around the wrong way A whole lot of ancillary equipment for uh, plugs for your batteries and uh, different kinds of connectors. Then some braid to put your servo wires into, and then servo mounts looks like, and switch mounts. And your this is your. Uh, tunneling to guide air over your ESC mounted in the cowl. Oh, so these are some of the, the remaining horns. These are the rudder horns actually. And then the pull-pull system for the rudder. Uh, the remaining push rods and ball joints. And that's a fuel push rod and ball joints. Lastly, the spinner, and it's a far, oh, it's a carbon spinner with a rather a large back plate held on with oh, six screws. Interesting, very nice, nice touch. Now, the two things that are really missing here are some decals, something and some kind of rudimentary instruction all of that's missing you have to really get that from elsewhere or just experience all right that's that <laughs> 